Chip Happens, episode, well, I guess two, two happens. Let's get into it. I just want to clear up a couple things. So Chip Happens episode 35 came out yesterday. Uh, Thank you so much for Walter and Noah for being my guest. Uh, Something unfortunate happened due to the editing and recording of Chip Happens. Uh, Some of Walter's voice got kind of cut up and chipped up. So I'm going to be taking down the episode. I'm going to be reposting the whole unedited portion of Chip Happens on this upcoming Thursday, and then we're going to bump that episode off a little bit. Right, so this episode right now, this tool happens, number two, is going to be taking place of Chip Happens. This one is very unedited, so whatever I say kind of, you know, I don't know, st- sticks with it. But I want to give you guys a little bit of a live thing. Yesterday, Ryobi had some announcements for some new tools. I have not seen the announcement. I've gotten the alert and I was able to live stream it yesterday. I, I didn't do that, um, but I, I really wanted it to be uh, true. So I'm going to watch it right here. You guys are going to hear a little bit of Ryobi, and we're going to kind of you know skip through some things and maybe, maybe talk about it a little bit. So let, let's, let's get right into it. So here we go. Ooh, they upgraded. I'm going to try to turn this down, keep this a little lower. Hello and welcome to our Ryobi Ooh, new okay, so. product launch. I am so excited to share some... Ex- wow, this guy's pumped. He's a bald guy wearing khakis, long sleeve black shirt. Looks like he has some maybe some nice work boots or some chicas or whatever they're called on. Uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a uh, kind of a picture of what this dude looks like. Looks like his name is Jeff, maybe Chad. Let's see, Is it? Uh, maybe he'll say his name. Here we go. Exclusive details on a new Ryobi products and some cutting edge innovation coming to your home, your job site, oh. or your garage oh, very soon. Thanks so much for joining us. My name is Chip. Oh, Ryan. Chip! I've been in the construction. It's Chip! No, how, how could I have missed it? He's a home improvement expert. His name is Chip Wade. I thought it was Chad for sure or Jeff. Oh, man, Chip. Industry for years. I'm going to skip and ahead. This is the intro. Firsthand. Um. Welcome back. It's really big right now. Have- so Ryobi has 25 years of battery capability. I don't know. The batteries have worked. I can't even say that word right now. The batteries have worked for 25 years. In fact, my grandfather still has some of the old blue Ryobi tools, and they use the same battery. It's pretty crazy. That's what makes Ryobi kind of special, in my opinion, is the batteries. But let's keep going. Brian Myrtle, Vice President Thanks, of Brian. Product Management for Ryobi Power Tools. Now, Brian, tell us a little bit about some of those new products we just saw and what else is in store. Thanks, Chip. And I am honored. We we didn't just see new products, so I don't understand what he was talking about. But it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, these are not the products. Maybe there's 25, I guess, new products, maybe. Um, okay, let's check it out. To be here as we unveil I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of skip through we're gonna go to automotive is the first section here we go take it away Nick Ooh. good afternoon everyone as Brian mentioned today we're gonna be talking about our expanding Rio Nick automotive you're young product. man over the last year Rio has reached new heights in the automotive segment with the launch of great solutions like the one plus dual action polisher I have the one plus one. cordless ratchets nice. the one plus HP compact brushless four mode three eighths inch impact wrench wow that's a lot of words plus HP brushless four mode half inch impact wrench at Ryobi, our commitment to the end user means that we're out in the field seeking ways to deliver solutions and accelerate job site tasks while maintaining compatibility, capability, and delivering innovation at an incredible value. Today, we're proud to announce the expansion of our automotive tool segment with the introduction of several tools, including the OnePlus Detail Polisher. Oh, okay, so first tool, Detail Polisher. It looks like right now the guy's using it for like car lights. If you have like those, uh, those I don't know, fogged over car lights, this is one. That looks kind of nice. Sure. One plus HP brushless quarter inch and three eighths inch extended reach ratchets. Oh wow! So the extended reach ratchets are new, so they have a little bit longer neck. If any of you guys ever used a ratchet before, battery powered ratchet, they are kind of bulky. And they can't really get in there. If you're working on cars, they can't really get in there very easily. So that's kind of cool. Oh, this looks like some sort of drill. Let's see what he has to say. And the One Plus HP Compact Brushless Right Angle Die Grinder. Oh, it's a die grinder. That looks sick. He doesn't really have a 
die grinder on there. I mean, he has some sort of different attachment. That looks pretty sweet, though. A lot of them are air tools, but some shops, like my shop, doesn't have air. But then again, my shop is an automotive shop, so I don't know. In addition, we've expanded our impact wrench category to offer even more power with the OnePlus HP brushless four-mode half-inch high-torque impact wow. wrench. Wow. So, okay, so they, they update it. Let's dive exactly the how these tools will revolutionize the way you get work done. At this point, you've seen the incredible results that the OnePlus Dual Action Polisher delivers. But for users looking for a more compact polishing solution, this 3-inch polisher and sander is ideal for headlight restoration, nice. trim detailing, and work in tight spaces. But Again, I, the compact... I wonder, design. so it, it literally looks like a drill that has a permanent attachment that does, like, buffing and polishing. So what what is preventing someone from taking a drill, like a... Uh, 3 8 inch twi twist drill or something and putting on just a polishing head on that and, and using that as a polisher like what, what's preventing someone from doing that let's let's keep going this tool makes it ideal for use in tight spaces like working on motorcycle it fairings, has a handle louvers and bumpers cool and the cordless versatility of the tool means that no compressors air hoses or cords are needed this tool offers up to 60 minutes of runtime okay, just like the drills charge. This tool is going to feature a two-speed switch for both polishing and sanding applications, as well as a variable speed trigger for detailed work. In the box, you're going to find three polishing pads, three grades of sanding discs, both a two- and a three-inch backer pad, and an auxiliary handle. Interesting. Interesting. Next, we have a Ryobi OnePlus HP Compact Brushless Right Angle Die Grinder. Working with our users in the field have allowed us to deliver a compact, powerful solution that is a first to the Ryobi OnePlus lineup. This right angle die grinder will deliver on three key aspects for the end user. Powerful performance for tough cutting and grinding applications, maximum control, okay. and reduced downtime. Oh. With up to two times more power than pneumatic, you can expect more power and runtime from HP technology. But pneumatic is way motors, easier to maintain. Advanced electronics and high performance batteries. This added power and performance means that tasks can be completed more efficiently without the need for compressors, hoses, until you have to wait for your batteries to charge up. Grinder demands. Control is a key element of performance and execution of a fine finish result. This die grinder has two features. We're gonna, we're gonna that skip ahead a little bit. But forward and backward compatibility has always been of the utmost importance to oh, us. Oh, okay. So I know you can't see it right now, but it looks like the he's talking about the extended ratchets. And if you haven't seen a powered ratchet, look it up right now because you can tell just with if we can think of a, a click ratchet, there's typically a head and a long handle or, or some sort of handle. But in these battery-powered ones, the handle itself is the motor, the battery charger, all that kind of things. But it looks like in these new ones, they have an extended head, which is nice. But I don't know if these heads extend any further. I mean, it is a definitely a plus, but it doesn't look like it's that like extended that far. So let's keep going. When we launched the cordless ratchets in 2020, we brought an innovative approach to blending these two requirements by offering a four position rotating head that allows you to rotate the OnePlus battery and reintroduce accessibility on the familiar 18 volt platform. Today, we're announcing two additions to the OnePlus HP lineup okay. with the quarter inch and three eighths inch yeah, extended, extended reach ratchets. These me? tools blend OnePlus HP technology What's this kid's and the innovative again? features of our original uh, ratchets you, to bring a like more a Mark. powerful, more capable Mark, can tool. you show us how it works? This ratchet brings accessibility to the next level with an extended reach neck design okay. and slim four position rotating head. Not only can you access nice. more fasteners than ever before, Marks. but you can break them free more easily. With the power of this ratchet, you can take it out of the garage and accelerate installation and assembly projects around the house. Yeah, I'm going to skip ahead. He's not really showing us very much. As I mentioned earlier, okay. we're constantly working with and listening to our customers. Basically, in this next one, it looks like he is literally taking the, well, not he himself, but it looks like Ryobi took the impact wrenches that they have for automotive use, the half inch, three quarter, not three quarter, Jesus, half inch, one quarter inch, uh, and it looks like they just upgraded. They included a smaller, newer one, but they also upgraded the two to their HP line to give them a little bit of a uh, boost. Every day. We know that you've been asking for an impact wrench that delivers yeah, a thousand more, foot pounds of torque. More and the one plus torque. HP brushless four mode I'll half inch high torque. I have the brushed one of this. It actually does pretty good. It'll break a bolt if you give it enough. This impact it's like wrench this one probably does applications like removing fantastic job. crank bolts, flange drive shaft retaining nuts, yeah, and track bar mounts. Not only that, but when you compare this to some of the options on the job site, I mean, my shop will really do itself as a automotive for work, but this is what's kind of cool if you're savings. interested in it. Uh, he's been in a long time, four control, control mode, yeah. Awesome, Their okay. extensive line of tools. Ooh, I see something, I see something, I see something. Uh, we're going to move into carpentry right now, and this is kind of more my speed right here, but we're going we're gonna to try, ooh, lifestyle, wow. 
Horrible power, lawn and garden. Oh, lawn and garden is gonna be a sweet one. Okay, let's let's check it out. Here we go. The options for the pro, Ryobi has really stepped up their game, providing. Okay, I'm gonna. I I think I see something, but I want to make something really clear. Milwaukee made probably the first, maybe, and you'll correct me in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube, like you always do, and that's okay. Uh, I believe Milwaukee made one of the first battery-powered uh, framing nailers. I have one. It's fantastic. Uh, Milwaukee owns, or at least manufactures, Ryobi's tools, so I wonder if they're going to do that. Now, it shows some tools here. It looks like I, there's some nail guns, and their airstrike nailers for Ryobi are fantastic. I do have to say... I have a couple of them. They're fantastic. Students use them, and, and they, they work really well. Class Looks like solutions he has a floor for the job saw an and another battery value. powered miter Let's saw. See Let's, what check Kelly it out. Has to show Let's see what Kelly has to show us. Let's see. Ooh, what's up, girl? Thanks, Chip. Now that you've heard Kelly. about expanding upon our audience. It is a floor system, saw. I wanted to highlight the existing systems that we're constantly improving and updating. Here at Ryobi, we provide solutions for the homeowner and DIY customer, as well as the value pro on the job site. Along these She's in a house right now, a framed up house, and people in the background doing nothing. Lineup, as well as introducing a one plus flooring saw and one plus miter saw. Uh, shocker. To kick things off, they already they have, have a one plus miter. Plus oh, it's saw that's going to no. a rip cut capacity of eight inches wide, ideal for your LVT and hardwood floor. Nice. Here's the flooring saw. It can cut saw. up to two hundred and forty nice. linear feet of LVT and has wow. a blade optimized for fast, clean cuts, so you can get the flooring laid really down nice. and cut it's much quicker. Different it also features onboard storage for your accessories as well as a carrying handle so you have oh. extreme portability and user oh. convenience. Next is our 18 volt 1 plus 7 and a quarter sliding miter saw. This delivers 3600 RPMs as well as best in class 2x10 cross cut capacity. Wow. This saw can deliver up to 8. To uh, give you guys a little bit of a kind of perspective on this, I have a Craftsman battery powered 7 and a quarter inch. Uh, sliding miter and I think it can cut a two by eight, but this one's a two by 10 cutting capacity. So that's pretty cool. I mean, at the end of the day, two by 10 is not a super common size. Neither is a two by eight real. I mean, two by eight is pretty common, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm looking up right now. I'm, I think they already have one. Could be wrong there it is i could have swore unless it's really small let's check it out um did she give the uh the thing oh this might be the new one uh no there's nine in stock so yeah they already have a wait i think it's brushless this one's not brushless wow oh no this one's this one's corded i want cordless miter saw cordless miter saw there it is Oh, it's just a compound. Where's the? I could have swore I was in Home Depot the other time, the other day. Uh, battery miter saw. I could have swore I saw one. Anyways, the Craftsman ones does an all right job. I I can't complain about it. Um, okay, there's that one. Okay, okay. Uh, fifteen amp. Oh, that's a that's a combo kit. Um, let's see here. I'm going to do miter saw and just search by Ryobi and we'll see. Cause these are, this is brand new. It came out yesterday. So I don't think Home Depot is even going to have any of it in stock yet. All right, let's check out. There's Ryobi. All right. looks like a uh, sliding compound miter. Mm, yeah, negative. So I guess they did. Oh, there it is right here. Oh. Yeah, there is. Oh, they have four in stock right now. 200 bucks. That's actually not too bad. Is that just the... Uh... Yeah, there it is. I guess they did not have one. That's insane. I would have assumed they did have one. That's crazy. Is it brushless? I probably could just listen to the chick talk. But... I... This looks very similar to the Craftsman one. I, obviously, they were going after Craftsman on this one because it's, like, damn near super similar. Um, and it's cheaper. It's, like, $20 cheaper, $30 cheaper. Wow. And a lot of people are like, why do they have a 7 and a fourth inch sliding mire? Well, a lot of circular saws are 7 and a quarter inch, so it would make sense to put this on a mire saw 
because you probably have one of those blades laying around if you're on a job site. If you're not doing anything crazy like cutting posts or anything, you're just cutting, uh, especially like deck boards or something, this might be the, the way to go. You know, if you're not doing anything super insane. This is kind of cool, though. Not going to lie. Uh, there's the miter quick, st quick stand for my OB on there. Okay, okay. I, I can I can dig it. I can dig it. This looks nice. Cuts per Makes me regret buying a Craftsman, a honestly. Dust port to keep your workspace clean. Wow. The included 40 tooth carbide tip blade maximizes performance for a clean cut every time. Kelly, talk to me. Moving on from cutting on the job site, we are also introducing some new additions to the 18 volt one plus. Yes, here it comes. Nailers. Airstrike. Our new Ryobi 18 volt one plus 18 gauge brad nailer is the industry's most compact and lightest 18 volt brad nailer and is also 12% more compact than the previous model. What? This brad nailer features a 40. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like they. Wow. Okay, so this Brad Nailer, I have one, the original one. It had a huge canister up on top, and then nothing. It was right there. It was it was massive. It's a big, big nailer. All, right, all battery power nailers are big, but it looks like they put some sort of air canister on where the trigger's at almost, in front of the trigger, like the trigger guard. It looks definitely smaller. It looks a lot nicer. Smaller noise. Nose. smaller nose yeah, than okay. the previous model wow. for tight spot access and has an LED light for better visibility in tight spaces. Wow. The improved depth of drive and pressure adjustments allow for improved accuracy when driving 5 aces. I did to say the pressure adjustments in the rivalry are my favorite. Driving up to 1,900 nails per charge with an 18 volt battery. Wow. You can tell any job. Stop. Alongside the Let's one plus 18 gauge Brad nailer, uh, we have the one nail. plus yep, 18 crown gauge nailer crown is. stapler. I want to see this, this new other model one, leads the market Probably in size and weight nailer. ratio and is seven percent more compact than the previous model. I don't have the crown stapler. The one plus narrow crown stapler features improved depth of drive and pressure adjustment. Just like the other one. For a 30 awesome. percent faster adjustment and drives up to yeah. seventeen hundred. Oh wow, they actually have a little toggle now, so you see like a little like I don't Finally, know. Finally, we have thing. the Ryobi eighteen bolt one plus oh, yeah, see, it's a finish nailer. Nailer. See, they weren't going to take this nailer features a more powerful motor yeah, than the previous there. model for a reliable drive every time. It also has improved line of sight and 78% wow. smaller like nose for improved actually. access. The tool-free depth of drive and pressure adjustments on this nailer have been optimized for faster Okay, and that's it for carpentry. We're going to move on to hobby on and craft now. I'm going to skip Thanks, ahead Chip. a little bit. Now let's check oh, out some what? of our new and current hobby and craft solutions. As a growing category, Ryobi has seen a, a surge in demand stuff. from our users or in HP the hobby and craft plus. space. Ryobi has continued to expand within this category with introductions like our 18 volt one plus precision rotary tool and our 18 volt one plus. Oh, wow, glue gun. look at that compact glue gun. So I have a glue gun from, uh, I have a battery powered glue gun uh, that Ryobi has. It's big though, it's huge. And I use it mainly for uh, doing epoxy projects, that sort of thing. But man, that smaller one's nice. You get into the little tight spots there. Okay. Here, Ryobi has seen users take on more home and hobby projects. The rotary tool is just like a Dremel. And Ryobi gives you the like power a, to do know, more on one battery it's a weird. platform. Dremel Our is probably newest the best addition to the platform. hobby and craft category. Dual temperature, the let's go! Plus dual temperature glue gun. Users have raved about our original 18 volt one plus glue gun. Yeah. So we took everything yeah, I, we loved I have. and made it better. Oh my goodness. Dual temperature settings increase versatility and allow you to handle more products. Uh, what's this girl's name, real quick? I gotta, I gotta look back. Lindsay! Thank you, Lindsay. ...than ever before. Low temperature setting oh, allows yeah. use on heat sensitive materials yes. with lower temperatures at a yep. maximum of 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Keep talking. The high Lindsay. temperature delivers the same exact performance yep. as oh, our original yeah. 18 volt one plus glue gun with rapid adhesive. They're showing a video right now. It's definitely burning. Like you can see the smoke coming out of it. Degrees Fahrenheit. Oh wow! This tool features an LED indicator that not only tells you. Wow! Is on, so instead of the glue and dripping out, it has an LED indicator. Nice. Oh, a drip tray, tray built into it. Helping you. That's cool. Workspace. This tool includes As if hot glue ten wasn't hard enough to get off. and two additional nozzles for various applications. Two nozzles, making this the most See, that's what I wish I would have had on mine. This glue gun in our current lineup. Well, I, this glue gun is probably your only one. Exclusively on HomeDepot.com and various kit oh, configurations and tool-only options. In addition to the hobby and craft tools, Ryobi also has many lifestyle tools ideal for the homeowner DIY. Oh, here we go. Lifestyle tools. This is it. This is it. I'm going to pass things over to Grayson, who's going to talk you through. Oh, Grayson, more of what's our up, lifestyle man? Lifestyle tools on the Ryobi One Plus platform. Hey, everyone. I'm here today Whoa! to talk to you Same about some background. exciting new Ryobi One Plus. Looks like a little small fan. Category. But before we get started talking to you some about lights. our One Plus solutions. I want to talk to you about literally the coolest new product we have in our lineup. A little fan. The new Ryobi One Plus four inch clamping fan. Our traditional. Oh, Ryobi it's like a built in clamp fan. That's actually kind of cool. So we've all seen those 
we all seen those uh, clamp type fans. This one has a clamp built into it, but on the bottom of it, it's a battery. So it's like the battery clamps onto like a chair or a desk or something. And there it is. I don't really like clamp fans because they kind of the clamp gives out after a while. But here we go. Users are continuously asking us for more fan options that work with our OnePlus battery platform. What, what can you say, man? You have big However, fans. we understand that size and storage are huge obstacles that our users face on a daily basis yeah, we know. with traditional fans. Yep. Which is exactly where the new OnePlus So we're gonna give you a smaller fan, comes into bulkier play. box. This fan is ideal for a variety of- Oh my God, they have a girl working out, clamped her fan on, in a gym, in a gym, clamped the fan on a, uh, looks like a, maybe an elliptical, a uh, rowing, no, not a rowing machine, uh, what are those little bikes called? Little spin bikes, which I guess actually could be kind of cool because uh, some of those machines do not have fans. I actually been to a gym that had a fan built into the treadmill. It was amazing. So I could see this. But can you imagine walking into the gym with that? Like, you look kind of ridiculous. But here we go. On your job site, tailgating, golfing, or even lounging by the pool. Golfing. But with its integrated clamp design, it can connect to different materials such as a 2 by 4 a ladder, wow. a desk, a chair, or even... Wow, look at this pack. girl's like smiling with as she is blowing her away. CFM, two speed settings, a yep. rotating and pivoting head, nice. a directional airflow. Okay. This fan packs a punch oh, in a yeah. very compact Grayson, size. you're telling me This it. fan is going to keep you cool and comfortable everywhere you go. This girl is wearing a long sleeve shirt, pants, drinking coffee... In a campground, and she has, uh, needs a fan because she's she's too warm. Maybe you should put on like a, a you know a sleeveless or short sleeve shirt, drink some nice cold root beer, and uh, maybe you'd be good. But nope, you're uh, drinking coffee and you have a fan on you. It's kind of weird. The guy behind you looks like he's doing all right. Up next, we have two new lights. Ready nice, to Grayson. As you know, lighting has changed dramatically over the past couple years. Oh, we know. We've begun to see this transition from LED, the typical halogen LED, and incandescent LED. lights to much more efficient LEDs. Yep. And as a result, we've begun to see brighter lights with reduced heat. There, these are all camping runtime. lights. He's going to show us. I'm going to kind of skip ahead. For taking on the campsite. Wait, wait. In those tight I heard, spaces, I said seven days. Users and... for updating and innovating our current see, Ryobi one. I had to skip back solutions. real quick. Up first is our most compact Ryobi OnePlus oh, wow. light to date. Our brand new Ryobi OnePlus compact area light. Oh, that's kind of cool. With 400 lumens of output, yep. this light is ideal for taking on the campsite in those tight spaces, or if you ever find yourself without power, this light is gonna give you seven days of oh, continuous wow. runtime. It's what Next battery? Next in our lineup is our brand Didn't new tell me Ryobi what battery, though. OnePlus LED light. This light is 75% Oh, so it's a little handheld LED predecessor. light. Let me guess. He's going to show off a spotlight. Well. Come on. With 280. Where is the spotlight? For a variety of applications. Wow, 500 beam distance. That's actually kind of In impressive addition, small. we went ahead and upgraded to a more ergonomic handle design. Oh, wow. We then added a 130 degree pivoting head. Okay, cool. For handheld or hands free. I want to see the spotlight. In your backyard. Back to you, Chip. There Show me really the spotlight. No better time. Okay, now we have lawn equipment. It looks like I don't even know what's going on. The sprayer is a pressure washer. It's a battery powered, like handheld pressure washer. Probably not going to be a huge PSI. I'm going to say because I think he's going to show off a pressure washer, like a handheld pressure washer, not like a big machine pressure washer. I'm going to say thousand PSI, maybe twelve hundred. To get into the Ryobi one for us. You don't get caught in the dark during a power outage. Oh wait, no, they're going to do portable power first. Coming up as well then lawn and garden. Your back during a storm, keeping yep. you connected okay. where you need it and when so you need it. So portable power right here. Victoria, what do you Okay, got in in the prior video this guy showed a product that I was not aware of. It had a bunch of 40 volt batteries plugged into it. It looked like a big power bank. Now I have one thing that you plug a 40 volt battery in and you get like a a regular DC plug and some USB, USB-C switches, but this one looked like a huge bank, so I wonder. Thanks, Chip. When Thanks, it comes Chip. to power, Victoria has you covered. Whether What's you're up, girl? Whether you're down for a storm or just need portable power on the go. Yeah, I do. Ryobi offers a variety of power oh, solutions. I'm sure they do. From compact power sources. I uh, use that one. It's a little compact power source. This is not new. All the way up new. to backup generators during a power outage. Well, there's the regenerator. That's In a gas one. In growing category, we have some new and exciting power solutions yes. for the OnePlus customer to add to That's their collection. That's a weird attachment. I wonder what that the one Ryobi is. The Ryobi 18-volt OnePlus 150-watt power source is an extremely versatile tool. 
Similar to our current 18 volt power source, this will provide you with 150 watts of power. Oh, wow. So they upgraded their power source. So I have a little power source that sits on top of the 18 volt battery, and that's what like does our Christmas lights because we don't really have power outside where we want our Christmas lights. So I have a couple of those and a couple of Ryobi batteries. They work really well, but this is 150 watts now, so I can put a bunch of stuff into that thing. It features one 120 volt okay, nice, outlet. Okay, nice, nice. Two USB A ports. Oh, the, and oh, now oh, one. one new 30 watt. What? Just like the 40 volt one. one. Nice. Allows you to not only Victoria. most small electronic devices, but it's also going to convert your power yes, girl. into an 18 volt charger as well. Yes, girl. Allowing you to essentially charge your 18 dual power technology. Ooh. Meaning you can either use a 12 volt car port or an 18 volt one plus battery to charge your small electronic device. Oh, it has an inverter. Whether you're on a job oh, site or need to charge your cell phone during a camping trip. Oh wow, trip, this can like this charge up you your the power you computer. need okay. when you need it the most. The low profile design will allow you it's to an easily for store your car. this device in a small compartment oh, we got kind like of a cut glove off. box I, and then pull the it out whenever it. you need it. Thank you. The new Ryobi 14 watt and 21 watt solar oh, panels what? allow you to charge any USB device as long as there's sunlight available. Oh wow! And the foldable compact design I makes look up storage this price so real quick. easy. You can store it anywhere and then pull it out whenever you need it most. Because the Harbor Freight Both has Both solar panels. panels include dual USB-A ports, oh, wow. meaning you can charge two devices at once, that's awesome. whether that be your iOS, Android, or other USB-A devices. And by pairing these solar panels with the 150 right now, watt power source, you're able to use these to power your 18 volt one plus batteries. This can charge up to two 18 volt what? one oh, plus what? two amp hour batteries in one full day with full sunlight. Oh, one with full these new day. panels, take a long time. you can have power in the most remote location, keeping you as connected as you'd like. These power solutions will be available exclusively at the okay, Home Depot well, and HomeDepot.com in various kit configurations and tool-only options. That's awesome. I just want to The Ryobi 18-volt OnePlus tools are perfect tools for on-the-job oh, site, uh, in the home, and outside of the home. equipment right now. But in order to make a house a home, the outside is just as important as the inside. And with these new 18-volt OnePlus tools, we make that easier on you. Not Introducing the, the new 18 volt one plus HP brushless dethatcher aerator. Wow. The 18 aerator. volt one plus cultivator. Wow. The 18 volt one plus patio sweeper. Oh wow. And the 18 volt one plus patio wire brush. Oh wow. The 18 volt one plus HP brushless dethatcher aerator mm. is the perfect tool to remove dead grass, keeping your lawn growing healthy. It's not what this aerator does. This high performance tool features not, a brushless what it's motor. To. Which will it makes holes. Area makes holes in the ground. You can fill it with grass motor. seed and sand, it also and regrow your grass. Because grass storage. grows like fingertips, so it doesn't get rid of dead grass. Four amp what? hour batteries for extended runtime with two active battery ports, wow. which will give you increased power. Not only that, but the course. lightweight design allows you to easily switch out the dethatcher wheel It's a weird air, 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 air springs on the inside. It's not really... And the four-point height adjustment mm, allows you to easily control the amount of debris removal. Next up it's is our 18-volt exactly one-plus cultivator. This is ideal for light gardening and tilling. The durable steel tines can till eight inches wide and four inches deep. The three-speed switch allows you to tackle a variety of soils and applications. There's no way it's going to tackle Not my soil. That, so clay. But it comes with a adjustable handle. Oh, nice. Thank you. Overmold grip for user comfort. Wow, you're right. We include an 18 volt one plus oh, four I want to see this battery, deck stuff which gives though. You up to 40 minutes of runtime. This works with any of your other 18 volt one plus batteries. It's a patio. Moving on to our 18 cleaner. volt one plus patio sweeper. A this sweeper. is ideal for clearing away dirt and debris from sidewalks, driveways, no, it really patios. Look. It's just like floor. a little tiny the plastic brush. The shaft allows you to easily adjust the height nice. of the tool to whatever nice. height you need. The I mean, soft overmold grip height. and the adjustable handle are okay. for user comfort. Okay. And it comfortable. has a lightweight and intuitive design. Okay. This will work with any of your 18 volt one plus batteries. Nice. 
Next up, let's cover the 18 volt one plus patio wire brush. Oh, uh, here it is. This is a new. I thought it was for like a deck, but now it's a patio wire no brush. So they're gonna like wire brush in between. The Home Depot currently. Oh yeah, you're right. Its wire brush design is ideal for cleaning out dirt, yeah. debris, and weeds in between bricks, pavers, and other crevices on sidewalks, patios. It's kind of useful, I guess, instead of having to spray the it with Roundup. The adjustable handle and the soft over mold grip are perfect for user comfort. The telescoping shaft basically has a wheel and then a wire. It's like a plastic wheel and then a wire wheel on the other side. And that's how it, it runs. And like all of the other 18 volt one plus tools we've covered, this can work with your other 18 volt one okay. plus batteries. Coming up is a pressure washer. I'm gonna say 1200 psi. Exclusively at the Home Depot, online and in. I don't. I maybe not. Maybe it's only a thousand psi. I have no idea. I think over a thousand, less than 1200 though, for sure. Next up, let's cover our 18 volt one plus HP brushless easy clean power cleaner. Yeah, easy clean power cleaner. 600 psi. 600, even worse. I gave it way too much credit. In remote location. Way too much credit. This is like the nothing. The adjustable pressure button allows you to dial back PSI where you may not need all of that pressure, or you could use it on high to blast away stubborn dirt and Oh, debris. yeah, blast it away. Connect any standard garden My wife's going to be like, yep, we're going to buy this instead of pressure washer. In order to pull water from any fresh water source. This also comes with a two liter bottle adapter and the nozzle features a three-in-one spray pattern, 15 degree turbo and rinse to tackle a variety of applications. This 18 volt one plus easy clean power cleaner is compatible with all of the current easy clean accessories as well as our new and upcoming easy clean accessories. Oh. We're rolling out a ton of new easy clean accessories such as the multi-purpose brush, the extension pull, Oh, two wow. extension wands, a quick connect kit, a nozzle. Kit, so I can get a, a nozzle on Amazon right now, high so pressure nozzle, and it's fifteen dollars and it's five hundred psi. And all of its it just attaches right to the end of a. Uh, sold exclusively at the right Home Depot and Home Depot. So very confused. Now let's pass it back to you, Chip. Oh, back to Chip. Once again, Ryobi is disrupting New tools, the industry with a massive tools, number of awesome. tools offered on their OnePlus platform. And among all the new tools they showed today, Ryobi will continue to improve upon those lines and accessories. Hey, offerings. Chip, we hope so. As you can see here, Ryobi will also be revamping their drilling and driving accessories what? and offering completely refreshed assortments oh, of their nice. impact rated drive bits for three times longer life, giving you the perfect project starter sets. Be on the lookout for the new jigsaw blades, oscillating nice. multi-tool blades, as well as circular saw blades. Okay. Make sure to sign up for Ryobi's mailing list so you're up to date on, on all it. the latest tool it. offerings. Now, don't miss our next I think the event coming in early fall, where really we'll have fall. some really big launches as well, okay, especially nice. in those expansion categories. Ooh. Thanks so much for joining us. and. I um okay we're gonna stop it right there. I, I actually am. I think the best thing is the new kits. I need some new kits for these these kids here in class. And I think the old like basic star level kits are cool, but I don't really think they're super like they're not really well thought out. I think these ones, if I'm looking at the picture, I'm like peering past Chippy, and it looks pretty good. So I um all right. Well, hey, this is uh this is better than the last project launch for sure. I think uh. By far the best in terms of like project launch. I actually like this video better than the last one, or this this whole even podcast better than the last one. So I think we got some uh, we got some cool stuff. All right, hey guys, I appreciate every single one of you listening. This is gonna get uploaded immediately. So if you hear this, expect it to be uploaded in about 10, 15 minutes after I record. It's two fifty, maybe by three o'clock, three fifteen, we'll be there. Hey guys, chip happens. Oh, well, tools happen. Ryobi, release new tools. If I get new ideas or new uh, tools coming out, I'll be sure to tell you guys immediately. Hey, have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Peace.
This has been an episode of the Chip Happens Podcast. Thank you all for listening, and I will catch you next week with another exciting episode.